Hey Rising Vibers, thanks for clicking on the video and joining me in learning all about the signs of the zodiac slash astrology chart. Today we will be learning the compatibility of the Scorpio and Gemini. This includes sexual and intimacy compatibility, trust, communication and intellect, emotions, values, and shared activities. We will get started with the sexual and intimacy compatibility. A sexual relationship between a Gemini and a Scorpio is like a connection of the deepest and the highest point on planet Earth. Gemini is so far off from Scorpio's emotional world that good sex between them seems like something almost impossible to happen. This couple needs to be supported by other positions in their natal charts if they are to stand any chance of lasting in a loving sexual relationship. Gemini can be superficial, and there is no other sign who knows this better than Scorpio. Their air element combined with the rule of Mercury and its lack of emotion is so close to Scorpio's worst nightmare. Scorpio is a sign of our deepest emotions and as such, linked to the most intimate side of sexuality. When they begin a relationship with Gemini, it probably never crosses their mind that such an asexual person can exist in the world. If they fall in love with each other, there is so much for both of them to learn. Scorpio gives a strong focus on their sex life and can be very creative when relaxed. Still, they have a tendency to make a dark, sadistic atmosphere that Gemini can only laugh at. If their mutual respect is at a very high point, Gemini could teach Scorpio that not everything needs to be so fatalistic in their sex life. In return, Scorpio will give their Gemini partner depth and emotional vibe to sex that they have never encountered before. Trust. Scorpio trusts everyone until they don't. They have this weird possessive nature that can give ultimate trust to their partner until the first worm of suspicion is created, usually by flakiness and disrespect. They like things clean and without a doubt, excuse me, they like things clean and without a doubt and are prepared to give unconditional honesty, expecting the same in return. This is where Gemini comes and asks a simple question. How can I be honest when I don't know what my truth is in the first place? It is ridiculous to expect such a, def a definite honesty out of a Gemini partner when they are so prone to change and have no idea what they will for t they will feel for or do tomorrow. Still, they have a knack for communication that can save the day, but it can only be used if Scorpio doesn't feel threatened because of their previous heartbreak they've never healed from. Communication and intellect. It is a good thing that Gemini can communicate with anyone. They will be moved and intrigued by Scorpio's nature and very curious as, as usual. This will be amplified by Scorpio's depth and interesting topics up to the point where they get too dark and depressive. This is something Gemini doesn't want to deal with if they don't have to. Unfortunately, there is not a lot that Scorpio thinks they can learn from Gemini. Although they might wish to be more superficial, when they get in contact with someone with less depth, their ego sparks and they feel dominant because they are just because that is just the way they are. They will hardly eat, ever respect Gemini for this and can try to feed on their personality in order to add quality to their own. In case they share interests and have similar professional and educational directions, they could complement each other very well. Gemini would give ideas and discover new information, while Scorpio will dig in and give real essence to everything. Excuse me. Their communication can be inspirational if they get into the mode and start accepting each other's qualities. They have so much to give each other, and it would be a shame if they held their relationship in an ego conflict for too long. Emotions. Emotional lack of compatibility is what ruins their sex life and gives them both a headache. If one of them falls in love with the other, they will hardly have a good time if their feelings are not returned in the same proportion. We could say it's hard for them to synchronize because of emotions. Scorpio would give away freely or something. We could say it's hard for them to synchronize because the emotions Scorpio would give away freely are something Gemini would have to be swept off their feet for. 
Sorry about that. Just had to go over that again. They didn't seem to have the same emotional scale, and this can leave them both unsatisfied or pressured to a breaking point. The best option for their shared emotional world would be for both partners to give what they can and not expect anything in return. Values. The good thing in their relationship is that they both value strength of thought. Although Scorpio values many other things in someone's personality, they will be impressed by someone's intelligence and resourcefulness. Jim and I will focus on the same thing, but have a slightly different assessment of someone's intellect. However, they can agree to have a shared point of the same value, although other things will strive Although other things they strive for will differ greatly. I'm sorry, y'all. Keep fumbling over these words. I'm a little bit tired, but I wanted to get this message out to you guys. On to shared activities. A great thing with these two is their openness for change. Jim and I will want to change the scenery, and Scorpio will want to change their life. Gladly taking Jim and I's small steps toward this goal. Scorpio is a fixed sign set in change of huge proportions, and Gemini's mutable quality will annoy them in most cases. Still, they can relate to their need for different experiences life, in life and their excitement they always search for. Even though they might not be excited by the same things, there will be enough excitement for both partners to choose along the path they decide to cross together. So in summary, Gemini and Scorpio will usually annoy each other senseless. None of them will lightly understand their partner's Excuse me, none of them will lightly understand their partner's personality. To Gemini, their partner will seem too depressed and dark for no apparent reason. And for Scorpio, this could be an experience with no purpose or depth. If they do fall crazy in love, they could connect through their mutual love of change and give each other the exact things they lack. Gemini would get deep emotional satisfaction they have never felt before. And Scorpio would finally get the chance to rest their troubled soul and realize that not everything needs to be taken seriously. This is a relationship of great lessons and an enormous capacity for personal growth of both partners. And now that I've actually made it through all of that, once again, I'm sorry for fumbling over all the words, but I've never really had a relationship with a Gemini other than a friendship and... We really do make the best of friends. I understand the ego and all of those type of things of the Gemini. And they understand the dark, depressive side of the Scorpio that I am, I guess I could say. And it just works really well. So if this sounds like you or some people that you know, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button or the comment section and let us know about it. Once again, sorry for the fumbling, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyways and got something out of it. Have a good one, y'all.